Hi guys, so I got the uh, Ed Games pinball control panel for arcade control panel here. They're using a new uh, shipping company called SF, SF Express from China. You can see their logo here and logo here. And uh, gotta say, really enjoying it. I got it like two days after shipping. It's already here from China. So I hope they keep it up and you know, continue to use this, this company and uh, the company continues to uh, ship quickly. So you know, this is the bag. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do an open up for you guys at first. So first up here, just do a unboxing, unbagging, unboxing, if you will. I was gonna cut this all smooth and try to be silky, but I usually manhandle, caveman, okay, however you wanna say it, my packages. I don't believe in typically using blades or knives to cut things, but. I was trying to be fancy for the video. That's not going to work out this time. Or probably ever. So, get the bag open. We have the At Games arcade control panel. A little bit of legend sticker that's been showing up on their boxes. Alright, so we got our happy little box. Again, usually I just bust through this with my hands and I'm actually using a knife to cut the uh, tape this time. Okay, so it looks like it's packaged pretty nice. You got this big piece of foam here. Instruction booklet. And then here's the panel. Looks like it's pretty similar to the ones shown in other videos on the prototype. Um, as it does have this plastic backing here, people were wondering if this is going to be how they ship out normally. It is, but I kind of like the fact that I can see what I'm getting into. But yeah, that's this is the final version, guys. Nice and sleek, beautiful, in my opinion, minimal. And uh, so next we'll go ahead and show how to put this in uh, the ALP, at right, Games Legends Pinball. All right, so here we are at my Legends Pinball. Um, that's flashing like that because I have the um, EDP board in there that Rachel's gonna be replacing. Um, but to get this, control panel in there. Uh, you're going to need to take off the screws on the side bars and the front bar here. Take off all the screws. So I've already unscrewed them, but here are the, I think there's five screws on each side bar. So you want to unscrew those first and then on the other side. And then there's three for the front bar here. Once those are done, I want to go ahead and take off the front bar, set that aside, take off the side bars, doesn't matter which one you take off first, just come right off, okay, and then you have your Standard uh, D-pad Legends Pinball, and we're just going to go ahead and remove that. Mine is a little bit tricky, I can't just pull it straight off. I have to kind of slide mine, so yours might be varying a little bit, but be delicate of course. So once you pull up, you're going to see these connected wires. These are for the haptics. And this is for the actual D-pad here. So you want to disconnect that. And then you can see down in here, this is where the haptics are connected to. 
and there is a little um, trigger lever if you will that you want to squeeze to be able to pull but don't pull on the back cords so you want to kind of use set this up right here use two hands one is going to guard the cable from pulling it so just keep that steady use the other finger your thumb to um, press the lever and then just pull apart so you don't want to pull on that uh, cord cable from the back can mess up your haptics so now that's off i'm going to bring in the new pinball arcade control panel here and we're just going to drop it right in after we connect it so it's got smudges already but that's okay <laughs> clean that up um so in the back here this comes taped the other replacement for the cable we just took off so i'm just going to go ahead and remove this tape here and so that looks familiar we're just going to plug that right back where we got it from before The pull lever clip goes on the bottom, so you can remember that when you're taking it apart, that's how it goes back together. So we have that, and then if you reach down somewhere, you should see your USB cable. It's uh, taped down, you'll see a bracket here that was holding this double cable as well. So you want to take this, it does have a little bit of slack, we're about not pulling it too hard, and you want to go ahead and connect that to the input here which will work for the controller itself a little more slack on there plug it right into there go and now that you got that in there you just drop this control panel back in again with mine it seems like I have to typically slide it at an angle here to get it to uh, go in mine is very secure for some reason just fine secure is good in my opinion and that's that then from there we're just gonna go ahead and uh, Put the uh, sidebars and the front bar back on. You want to go ahead and put the sidebars on first, doesn't matter which side, and then get the center one in. Get that screwed in, and we'll see you on the other side. Before you do that, I want to tell you that um, it does feel really good. I like the size of the control stick here. It seems very clicky. It's got the nice micro switches in there. And these um, buttons, they're not concave. They're not convex. They are flat but they feel nice and clicky. Um, I might want to get some leaf switches just to quiet it down a little bit when I'm playing some hardcore shoot 'em ups Trackball feels very nice, silky smooth, extremely nice, extremely fluid. Probably the best trackball version I've gotten between the 1.0 and the um, Gamer Pro. This feels amazing, guys really really nice and then we'll show in a little bit when i put in some uh coin up sex play a little bit of millipede centipede and um, we'll see how it works in action all right guys here i am at the at games legends pinball with my new arcade controller panel and all its sleek glory and so one cool thing here is that the uh, A button does accept and the B button is rewind slash back. So first when I was into a setting here, um, I thought I had to reach for this rewind button right here. 
but nope, B is mapped to back, which is great. Appreciate that. So now we're going to go ahead and look at uh, some arcade net games. This will be my first time playing one of these on arcade net. Playing with the control panel on arcade net. Start button, adds coins. And this one apparently deselects. Let's go ahead and go in here and change the display mode. Fill. Wow, die quickly in this game. <laughs> Anyways. Good thing we don't need to use quarters, guys. There we go. Controls well. Control moves really well. At first the ball was a little bit um, loose on there, so I just kind of held the shaft and rotated to the right. And that helped um, a little bit tighter. But the buttons feel good, very responsive. And that's that for the arcade net game. Let's go back out of here. Now I'm going to go into some coin ops X action. Here we are in coin ops X. This is the trackball playlist category. All nice little trackball games. To try out this uh, new trackball, which, as I mentioned in my um, unboxings, feels really smooth and nice. So let's go with uh, Centipede. Oh, if this thing doesn't move on me automatically. Coin M6 moves very quickly on the um, ALP because it is not. Um, I'll change it to full screen here because it, it, it doesn't have as many items uh, that it's uh, connected to. It doesn't have the logo um, and it's, so it just has less uh, information to process. So you can slide through the games very, very quickly, no matter how many you have on the uh, in your USB. Try to one play one-handed here. <laughs> B seems to be a fire button. As you can see, it moves very smoothly. Doesn't catch at all. Smooth as a baby's behind, as they say. <laughs> Not an extremely good demonstration because I'm doing it one-handed, but. As you can see, very smooth. Very nice. As you can see, it goes pretty darn quickly. Whee! And heads up to start games in uh, Coin Ops X, you want to press the start button. This button right here. I don't know if any other buttons are mapped, but A does not start the game. So 
set to fill. Okay, good luck. Wing leader to base. Wing leader to base. Commencing operation. Bullet hell game. John Pachi. First stop. Enemy out. Let's see what you got. Don't worry, that reflection you guys see, it says Legends Pinball. You don't really see that while you're playing. It's just hyper aware when you're um, recording on, on a cam. But this feels good. Joystick is really nice. Buttons are nice and clicky. If you like that sort of thing. And as I demonstrated, trackball is great. And you can finally, again, access all your button mapping too. One other thing I wanted to mention, guys. There is uh, no uh, bad clicky vibration on plastic sound anymore with this new pad. Set to, haptic set pretty high, or just at medium, but... But when you uh, hit the bumpers or whatnot, uh, I'm not getting I'm not getting that uh, sound we used to have. So no need to use packing tape, or I use double-sided gorilla tape to uh, mask that uh, extra not so good sound you want from the haptics. Um, it's gone. Whatever plastic they used on this one, or how it's secured, um, it's not making that extra um, sound, um, that plasticky um, bad sound after the vibrations. It's, it's quality, guys.